Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. How are you guys doing? I've been very down, very, very down. You can see my last video, you see that I've lost so much weight. I have been down, so I'm doing a kind of follow up video. You know, I told you guys about the when I made the video about how Afri why Africans forbid using the left hand. I got a lot of comments on the comment section both on Facebook and on YouTube and some people somebody told me a friend of mine told me who heard about or whether watched the video told me that she had a friend or a colleague in her office who was a lefty but because of the way people were bullying him he decided to use both hands so unconsciously if he gives you something you will just say oh you would because he but they catch him uh, they will catch him all the time using his left hand to write to eat but whenever he wants to attend to someone else he will try to change the hand so it wasn't comfortable for him he ended up marrying a lefty they gave back to lefties so now in that kind of family are you are you going to say that you will begin to make them uncomfortable because god created them like that and then somebody on the comment section in the youth on my youtube said that she used that she's a lefty and in kenya they, they they don't see a lefty as a problem rather they see a lefty as being someone who is creative they see a lefty as somebody who is um who is intelligent then someone now came and said that this thing is not in all the african countries africa has uh, africa is a continent that has over 50 something countries right that makes up africa so if you, you we cannot generalize yes but when we say is it an african thing is it that some african countries practice it and somebody said yes in ghana if you give somebody something with the left hand they see it as disrespectful now it happens in nigeria but i don't know if it 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 happens in all the states in nigeria because somebody came on the comment section and said in south africa it's not a problem but and that person came under the comment section and asked, are you sure you're from South Africa? That means that even in South Africa, there are some places that don't tolerate left, while there are some that tolerate the left, you see? So all these things, we need to, we need to try to tolerate each other. If somebody gives you something with the left, especially a child, and you have told this child countless times that don't give me you don't just need to tell the child the next time you give me with the left i'll knock you you have remember you've been threatening this child like this and the child still gives you with the left so don't you think you should have another approach to correcting that child other than bringing in the mother to try to teach tell the mother that the mother did not train the child well that is really wrong so i feel that what you know that if somebody does to your child you won't be happy don't do it to another person and do, do not feel that it is wrong for an adult to respect a child. Respect is reciprocal. If it's reciprocal, if I offend my children and they come to me to say, Mommy, I didn't like the way you spoke to me. I didn't begin to tell them, come on, get out. No, no. I, because that thing you are doing, it, it is, the child will be trained like that. When people outside bully them, they will keep quiet. And they make the child to start having inferiority complex. It, it makes the child not to have self-esteem. They will lose who they are. So you don't know that most of the children that have been taken advantage of is as a result of the way they handle their issues while at home and the way they were able to sort those issues out. Do you understand? So when a child does something you don't like, call the child, sit the child down and begin to explain to that child. But you know, a lot of parents right now, there are too many things, they have too many things on their mind. So they feel that they can just talk to a child anyhow and it's fine. I apologize to my children. I remember in those days, if my dad flogs everybody in the house, he calls me to apologize to me and say he's sorry. And I feel that that thing helped me in also in parenting. How do you, okay, for example, I shout on a child for the, especially sometimes these children are not wrong. But we shout on them thinking, eh, eh, I'm an African mother. I have to do this. No. The, there was a time my daughter went to school. The teacher did not report her to me, but I met her um, standing by the door. So the teacher kept asking her to come inside the class. And she disobeyed. They didn't know I was behind. When I came in, I told the teacher that she, I'm sorry about what she had done, but she's going to face punishment when my daughter go home i punished her i also asked her to write an apology letter to the teacher the teacher was saying no 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 it's okay i said no 
But the way you correct a child matters. Are you correcting that child to lose the child or are you correcting that child to win the child? If you are correcting not to, to win, then there's a problem. You tell the child, if you give me anything with your left hand again, I will knock you. Everything you either be, tell the child, I will slap you, I will knock you, I will beat you. Have I done that to your own child? Have I ever done that to your own child? Do you think your children have not done some things to me that are very, very horrible? But do I treat them like that? Ask yourself, do I talk to your children like that? Then the next thing, instead of you to correct the child peacefully, you are bringing the mother into it. Is that not disrespectful enough for me as a mother? Okay, why not talk to the child and let her call me and say, okay, see you, this, this, this. Not to tell the child, even though your mother, what is bringing my mother inside? What is bringing the child's mother inside? So you mean that as you are like this, you cannot correct a child without bringing the mother inside. So have you seen that in some African countries, they don't see left hand as a problem? In Ghana, some places in Ghana, they frown at it. In Nigeria, some places frown at it. But it's not everybody. Don't make it look like it's everybody. And my own is, even if this thing was a rule in Nigeria, at least there's a way to, to pass the information to that child. Almost all the children, you have given them, I will knock you, I will slap you, Abba. You talk to children as if they are your mates. No. They should be able to, you, you, you have, you are, you are their senior. They know. You don't need to, you don't need to compel them. You don't need to, you don't need to, to, to threaten them to know. They already know you are their senior. Every little thing, you begin to tell the child how you are, you are, you are, you are their father's mate. It doesn't, it doesn't, there's no need for that. So we need to calm down and be able to talk to children with respect. Because they deserve respect also. Don't tell me eh, because they are the senior and then the children do not deal. No, 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 no. I will not support that. Because I, I for one, I also apologize to children. Until we get to a point where we know that these children we are bringing up will become adults one day. And whatever we instill in them is what they will practice in future. Then we, we, are, we have not started. Then we have not started. So my point here is that being a lefty is not a crime and nobody should bully anybody for being a lefty. Being a lefty is not a crime. It's not, a, it's not, an, it's not something. If this child had even stolen, it's a different thing. But this child, just you sent the child on an errand and gave, the child was holding it on the right hand, apparently so that she don't forget. It. And then you now give it, you now, no, 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 no. So are you saying that it's not an African thing? Some African countries tolerate it, some do not tolerate it. So I just thought to come here and say that some African countries said they tolerate it in their place. Some say some part of their country tolerate, some do not. So it's not a thing that it's not a thing that is cast on stone. So I just thought to let you know that I got feedbacks from different people. So one woman told me how her boss bullied her because of she's a lefty. Because she's a lefty. At the end of the day, she felt bad. But by the time she typed all those things, I even felt bad for her. It's not her making. God created her like that. So do not change people's brain because you want your stereotype to be, to be printed out there. No. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And see you in our next one. Bye.